Kia ora, no, welcome back to breakfast. It is six minutes to eight. Hobsonville Point will be a sea of pride flags this month as a show of support for the rainbow community. It's a response to a homophobic incident earlier this year when a local took exception to the rainbow flag being raised at the secondary school. The school principal, Maury Abraham, joins us now. Morena, Maury, thanks for being with us. Really appreciate it. Before um, we uh, talk about, before we talk, Morena, before we talk about the incident, just talk to me about the the reason, the most motivations behind uh, raising the flag in the first place? Yeah, we host uh, an event called the Little Gay Out um, for secondary school students from the Rainbow community um, and this year was going to be our second one. Um, the first one was a few years ago but then COVID interrupted mm. um, and we have over 200 uh, secondary school students from the Rainbow community come and run a, have a conference at our school for the day with keynotes and workshops and celebration of the, their diversity so because it was our second one we thought let's let's fly the flag so that when all those people arrive at our school for the first time um, they see that they're welcome that they're valued and, and and that they'll they'll belong with us so that's why we yeah. thought we'd fly the flag yeah and then so what happens when you did that Murray? Uh, yeah, so my caretaking staff uh, the afternoon before were, were about to raise it and then I was called out because a local resident had, had come across the road and was quite aggressively having a go at them and, and, and filming them um, um, as they were going about their work. Um, so I, I was called out and, um, and had a conversation with this young fella um, and um, he was pretty worked up. He, he said we had no right to be brainwashing kids and um, yeah. we should be em embarrassed and ashamed. Um, but he, I managed to calm him down a little bit and then when I found out he'd been filming, I, I assured him that he would be breaching privacy if he was to uh, play that video um, and he agreed to delete it and, and not play it on social media. Yeah, how sad is that, Maury, that we still have that way of thinking in our communities? It can't have been an easy, easy yeah. moment, too, to deal with. No, no, um, but um, he, he, did, he did eventually calm down. Um, the, the sad thing about it was that in the end I had to make the call to not fly the flag and, and I didn't like to be uh, put into that position, but... Um, we were getting people from the Rainbow community coming from other schools. We don't know them. We don't know how vulnerable they feel. And yeah. I wasn't fully confident that he might not front up the next day if we were still flying the flag. So um, I, I made the call to, to not fly it um, just so that they wouldn't be put into that difficult situation. Yeah, and safety, I guess, ultimately is, you know, needs to be uh, number one priority when you're talking about our school students. So I want to go back, Maury. So, you know, th this event, like you say, this is the second one. COVID disrupted uh, the last couple of years. But why was it important to you and your school to be able to support this community, to, to support our rainbow community? Um, because, you know, we've got a diverse uh, group of young people, as all secondary schools have, and, and we really claim that we are a school that represents that diversity and celebrates it. And so it's really important that we, um, you know, take action to, to, sure, to ensure they feel valued, they feel welcome, um, and they're a full part of our school community. Yeah, beautiful. How has your community responded um, to the events, um, well, particularly this event that you're running this year? Yeah, so um, the little gay out went ahead um, uh, a few months ago, but we've just been totally overwhelmed and blown away by the community response. You know, as soon as the community had heard about uh, the, the flag um, not being able to be flown and that we were, um, you know, treated pretty harshly by the resident, um, they started talking about this event that's coming up at the end of this week. And um, yeah, we've just been overwhelmed. Our students from the Rainbow community um, you know, feel really, really uh, pleased with what the community is doing to support them. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And also what the school is doing to support them too. Yeah, yeah, our Rainbow Community students um, tell me that they, they feel valued. They keep coming with suggestions mm. about how um, the place could be, be more comfortable for them and we, we listen to that and, and take action. Awesome, Maury. Thank you so much um, for being with us this morning. And go you. Yeah. Go home.
Hobsonville Point Secondary School. Loving your work. Really appreciate your time this morning, um, Mori. And uh, good on you. And even though, you know, it's not about the confrontation, but for standing up for your students. Really appreciate your time, Mori. Mori Abraham, principal at Hobson, Hobsonville Kia Point ora. Secondary School. And then can, can I just say, you know, we talk about this a lot. And this is no this is no no reflection of of the people who were involved in, in my school back in the day. But man, if I had a principal like that who was putting on something like that to make me feel seen and heard yep. and like I wasn't alone, God, it would have made such a difference. Yeah, and I and you know raising the flag is one thing, but then actually putting on an event yes. for other students from other schools yep. from around the area as well to come into your school. I mean, how phenomenal would that Huge. be? Huge, amazing. Yeah. So go you, Murray. That's beautiful. Really, yep. really awesome. Hey, and thank you for your feedback on the women's rugby as well. We'll get to more of that very shortly because um, it's awesome and you are captivated by it like, like so many people yeah. around the country are. Absolutely brilliant.